Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is. Oh, we have a weekly problem today. Okay, that's. Was that yesterday? No, no, that's today. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we have a weekly uh, problem, so let's, let's get to it. There's another one of these at most K things, uh, and, you know, we've talked about it all week, but uh, let me. Uh, all right, let me step back a second. Before I start, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, th we're doing the weekly premium problem. Uh, hopefully this is interesting. We'll, we'll take a look. Today's weekly premium problem is, or this week's weekly premium problem, is 340, longest substring with at most K distinct characters. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've, I think, I mean, this is just sliding window, right? The idea is kind of the same thing that we talked about the last couple of days, uh, or a couple of videos anyway, with respect to this idea of contribution. Of course, this is uh, the sliding window idea of contribution, uh, sliding window. But basically, the idea is just, you know, for for contribution, if you want to think about it in those terms, is that given um, given a thing, uh, if if you have a pointer that's last character what is the longest contribution to the answer that it could have, right? Um, and here we will ha use this idea of sliding window. You just keep going to the left. Um, there actually is, you don't need to do sliding window though, right? I think someone actually made a comment on, on a previous video, is that you can also do something like um, a binary search. And in this case, you may binary search to the left. And the way that you could do that is I mean, we're not going to do it that way because it's just a little bit, it's not that clean for this particular problem, but it may actually come in handy in future cases, is that if you um, combine that with prefix sum, then you can figure out how many distinct characters that you have. And from that, you know, you can binary search to see how far you go to have, because it's just a, it's a monotonically decreasing function to get, um, uh, to, the, the, the number of distinct characters is a monotonically decreasing function, right? So, which is binary searchable is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, but all right, let, without further ado, let's kind of play around with this, right? So then now, um, let, let's keep the same ideas that I have in the previous one, though I didn't do it on today's kind of contest, but, uh, but yeah. And here we have, you know, this idea of, um, of keeping the current state of the world. So with that, we have a frequency table. Yep, what am I doing? And then here, uh, again, we wanna say left inclusive or left and right uh, inclusive. So here we can say that F of um, S of right increment by one, right? And he here now, here now, um, uh, F contains left and right inclusive, right? The bounds um, after we um, after we measure this. But then here now, this, what is the state of the world? Well, the state of the world is that there are two possible states, right? It is either uh, it has less than let me put it in a different line. It has less than k distinct characters, or uh, or less than or equal to or it, it has more than k distinct characters and in this case we can actually narrow it down a little bit um, because it can because you know you think about you look at this this can only add one distinct character so that means that it has k plus one distinct characters right Um, and then we have, and then of course we will try to figure out which one it is. And in this problem, you can actually do it pretty quick, pretty easy. You can if length of f, uh, and length of f already gives us the number of distinct characters because that's how uh, a counter works. There is some nuance here. Don't don't skip ahead. Uh, or like you know, don't just judge by that. We'll go over it in a second, of course. Uh, but yeah, if this is um, greater than k, still easier to write this way. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, yeah, and then now what happens? Well, here then now we have an inclusive bound. We, by shifting one to the right, we made it too big or there's too many distinct characters. So we have to shrink it a little bit to the left and that's basically the way that we're gonna do it, right? So then F of S of left is subtract by one, left increment by one. But of course we wanna keep on doing it 
while because you know while after we do this this may still be true so we should make it a while loop of course um, there is some implementation nuance here which is that um, f of this could be equal to zero and it contributes to the length of f so then there is a thing where you know if f of less of s of left is equal to zero then we uh, we delete it but what this is saying and this is specific to Python anyway um, hmm. I mean you might have you have to do something similar in C++ as well for map but it's not the, the syntax is a little bit different but the idea here is just to remove um, that if, if there's zero then we remove it from the set otherwise you know um, if you think about if if I just visualize the the hash table for a second, it may have keys like a. There's like five a's. B is two, and then C. There's only one of them. You subtract one, and then this would look like the hash map. And you have to remove it explicitly. Then now length of f will equals to two instead of three, because this in this case it it shows that as having three items. That's basically what we're doing here. Uh, yeah. So then now it has um, while we're doing invariants uh, as I kind of people responded well to it so I'm going to add this here which is that uh, f right now contains less than or equal to well, I guess it doesn't have to be equal to equal to k distinct characters right and and because of adding this it can be um, you know still this case or it has greater than one or greater than k or it has exactly k plus one distinct characters and then now after that while loop uh the invariant is true again which is that it um f has less than or equal to k distinct characters and this is what we want right so then now um we want the length of because in a greedy kind of way i mean um anything between so you have a left and a right so let me uh, paste this here i just want to be more specific because we're talking about we're thinking about things in terms of contribution right but basically if you have like these things uh it may be that you know let's say this is right and this is left right um you can actually choose any uh in the same way you can choose any substring that goes all the way to left or shorter and they're all valid because they have less than k or less than or equal to k distinct characters right but in a greedy kind of way if you choose the max element of all these of course you choose the one that goes all the way to the left because well that's the maximum of the answer right so that's the contribution and so now you have uh, max of best um, and of course the number of characters and write my uh, f plus one and the reason why i can write this so confidently is because like i said left and right are inclusive and that's really the way to um kind of add that right so now best is equal to this uh, and of course we have to declare best in the beginning first but you know uh but yeah and that's pretty much it pretty much the idea uh i have to click on the next thing on the uh i don't know all right submit and yeah that's pretty much it um this is going to be linear time um O of alpha space alpha is the size of the alphabet which in this case should be 26 right is you know i guess they don't actually specific specify specific specific uh, man i cannot english they do not specific specific wow what am i stuttering today specific they did not specify i don't know why i'm having trouble today i don't know maybe i'm having a stroke but uh, they did not specific I cannot say it. Anyway, uh, they they didn't say that uh, it is only lowercase characters, but it doesn't matter, right? It's either twenty six or fifty two or whatever it is. But this is why you use the term alpha, where alpha is the size of the alphabet. In this case, we only use space for this, for f, and for left and right. Uh, so you know, constant. So so alpha plus constant, which is all of alpha to space, and in terms of time. Uh, this is going to be O of N, and the same thing we talked about the last couple of days, so I'm not going to go over too in-depth. Um, if you still want me to go in-depth, let me know in the comments, but but you can also just watch my videos for the last couple of days for these sliding windows. And left, but the TLDR is that left can only be incremented uh, N number of times, so this is O of N, this is O of N in total, 
in amortized kind of way. So that means that this is going to be linear time uh, and all of alpha space. And there you go. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. To your mental health. Have a great coming weekend, hopefully, everybody. Uh, yeah. Did I always say good mental health? Anyway, uh, good mental health again then. I will, hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to say specific. specific, specific uh, next time, hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to say it. Uh, I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.